back to Tech Drone Learning Hub. In this today's video, we are going to discuss an important part. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Infosys Springboard Virtual Internship 6.0, the next update. And this is the latest and official update about Infosys Springboard Virtual Internship 6.0. Yes. A new mail just dropped from Infosys and it's very important if you have already applied for this internship. Let's break down and understand the next step of this step internship and mostly what you need to do before June 30th to secure your chance. So don't miss this video until end. Make sure that you watch this video till the end. So before diving into our topic, let's I'll discuss a quick recap of what I discussed in my previous video. In my previous video, I explained the full process on how to apply for the Infosys Springboard Internship, how to select your domain and enroll in the courses, what to do inside the Infosys Springboard platform and how the selection process generally works. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching that first to complete this step by step guidance so let's uh, now let's move to the another part of this updated mail uh, we received recently this is the mail which we have received recently here we could see the subject that Infosys Springboard virtual internship 6.0 so here the subject itself tells that this is something important means uh, that itself tells us it's not a some random update. It's a crucial checkpoint. So in the first line, dear learner, thank you for registering something, something, something. What this really mean is they tell, I mean like Infosys company tells thanks for you for registering and shows that you are officially part of the Infosys consideration process. But in the second paragraph, for second two three lines, what they gave is very important for us. Here they shared at that clearly the uh, mentioned date. I mean that I mean that to stand a chance to be considered for applying the internship, it is a crucial step to complete all your recommended courses under your chosen technology domain by the june 30th 2025 so how to complete all these courses or uh, certifications before june 30 let us discuss later part of this video so make sure that you are seeing until the end if you are still with me here yeah, then no worries yeah that's mandatory condition i mean like to complete all the courses before the june 30 it's a mandatory condition there means they already gave you this is a mandatory condition there is no option if you don't complete the courses i'm sorry that you are not eligible to move to the next round this is like a screening step before the shortlisting. So if you are really an aspiring student who are really wanted to be a part of Infosys Springboard, so then please don't miss this opportunity. Please complete all the courses by my guidance. So yeah. So what do they what do they really mean? Let us discuss that. Before discussing that, let me tell you what are the next steps. Here you could see, yeah, here you could see completing these courses deadline is the mandatory for your application progress. This is the important step. Please complete the entire thing. And in the last line, they wish they gave a thank you note or the motivation note to you by uh, they wish you have to learn everything in this journey potentially they welcome you to the Infosys Springboard virtual internship program. In case if you have any queries, you can email to Infosys support at the date Infosys Springboard support up at the date Infosys.com. If you have really any small or major doubt, you can absolutely comment in this video. So I'll be more than happy to answer all of your comments. So let us discuss and jump into the most crucial step, how to access all the courses 
and complete all the courses or certifications. So here you could see an image like next steps like visiting the Infosys channel and access the recommended tailored courses and understanding the shortlisting process and specific criteria. So before entering into this, you have to do a mandatory step as login. I mean, maybe all of you people may log in already because by logging only you can apply for the Infosys 6.0 internship. So maybe all of you have your per perfect accounts so that open only from that mobile or from that email. So here you could see an image, right? If you are not, if you not got an email, you could check in the description box by clicking the link, which is mentioned in the description box. Also, you can directly go to the specific video. I mean like specific link or Infosys dashboard. So if you click on this image, it would directly redirect you to the Infosys 6.4 virtual internship dashboard. So you could see all the major things here and you could see all the rules and restrictions, eligibility criteria, everything. If you move down here, you can uh, apply, but this is not um, available for now. So let's skip, skip this section. And yeah, this is the important section. Learning categories and learning paths. Here you would already choose a specific criteria or path when you are filling the specific form. So if you choose the artificial intelligence, you could select the artificial intelligence or Angular or Python or Java or data visualization. But you have to choose your chosen category. Okay. If you completed all the courses in the unchosen category, you may not get the success or the confirmation mail so yeah if you choose the artificial intelligence program you have to click this and down below that you could see all the courses or certifications which you have to complete right here how to find this is course or a certification here you have a course uh, name yeah so if you, yeah, here there is a certification. If you choose a course, that is a course. If you choose a certification, that is a certification. What's the major difference between course and certification is in course, you can directly write the quiz or final assignment or a test for uh, getting this certificate. To clearly explain for you, for example, this course is related to robotics and automation. So at the end of this course, you will write an exam. In this exam, you may not on the camera and you can randomly write the exam. You can also cheat in this exam. If you click the certification, here you must on your camera and you must on your camera and you have to complete all the tests which is uh, appear after the course. This is the major uh, difference between course and certification. And another part is in the course only the specific related domain would be there. For example, here introduction to robotic process and automation. If you see directly, you can start here and you can uh, see all the things or criteria here. See, you could see the double tick. This double tick refers that you have completed this page. And this blue color represents that you are currently reading this page. If you completed this, you can uh, click like this. You could see again you completed this page. Like that you can complete each and everything in this course. Until all this index is completed, you could generate your certificate easily. So what about the certification? Let me go into that. Um, yeah, artificial intelligence. Again, let me go into the certification. Yeah, it, uh, in the previous one, we selected this, a course. Here, we could choose a certification. In this certification, we will be pile up of all the different courses which we have. All these different courses means if we complete all these different courses only, we could able to access the main and specific content. Hope you understand. You could you have to complete all these courses 
to write the certification exam this exam you should write by owning your camera so that's about the course and and the certification so you can also write here angular here you could see the specific contents of angular and uh, python java and data visualization hope you got my point if you completed the entire course it would show a violet mark for you as you completed the entire course if you completed half part of the course if it uh, would show the half line here half violet line as you completed half of the part of this course so by this you can easily recognize which course you completed and which you doesn't completed so yeah we came the end of this video so we will discuss about what are skill pending from the infosys springboard side so here we could see that uh, here we could easily find that they didn't mention the duration of this internship and we did not get a clarity about what topics they will give and what are the assignment rounds they will update this later and there is no update on certification or interview rounds and there is no short list release date so yeah these are the uh, not mentioned details by the infosys springboard if they mail us we would all uh, discuss that in like a youtube video so make sure to like share and subscribe to the tech drone learning hub so you will not miss any part of this video i mean any part of infosys springboard working so what you have to do step one login daily step two and complete the video lessons and quizzes and assignments step 3 uh, connect with the other in the your domain let's like you can chat also in this so next step 5 wait for the next mail or update after june 30 if any i will update you in the youtube channel so make sure to subscribe so i know many of you are the students just like me managing the college and other work and now this internship but trust me this is a golden opportunity no application fees and learning fees and you can get a certification and it's a chance to work on a real world internship with the infosys springboard and one of the greatest company in india so now let us see how to view our certification here you could see your profile maybe it doesn't visible for you it, it would be on the right top corner if you click on that you could see all these things here you could see your achievements in these achievements you could see the certificate certificates here here all my certificates you can download this directly or you can view this directly and here the certifications i completed two certification so i have this here's the certificates and certifications if you uh, completed the courses you will get certificates if you complete the entire certification course you get this certifications so i hope you understand this difference if you doesn't understand please make sure to comment i will really clarify your doubt yeah if you have any major doubt or minor doubt please feel free to comment in the below comment section so i'll be more than happy to answer all of your comments so that's all for this video guys hope for the best thank you bye bye and see you in the video soon